نفترض هالسنة بعدد الثاني عنا البارتنرشيب الجداد منها الأفت الفونديشن دو أوتوغلوجيغي اللي جايبين معنا معرضين لدبي اللي هو معرض الماستري أوف تايم تعرض قطع من متحفهم الخاص في لوشوتفون وأول مرة في الشرق الأوسط يعرضون هذا المعرض في دبي مع شراكات مع ماركات مختلفة مثل مون بلون لانجي انزوني بعد عارضين اغراضه اشيائهم اساعتهم بالمعرض اللي في دبي مول وعندنا معرض طائر الوقواق الكوكو كلوك اكزيبيشن اللي هو معرض عن ساعه الطائر الوقواق المعروفه السويسريه بس بشكل مختلف وبتنفيذ من طلاب جامعه الديزاين هيد سكول ان جنيفا اللجنة المنظمة فيها كذا شخص من 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 الديفرنت بارتنرز اللي معنا عشان يعطونا افكار عن المواضيع اللي نطرحها في البانل ديسكشنز وكيف انه ممكن والسبيكرز ونرشح متكلمين في هذه المواضيع. انا دوري شوية يعني دبل عندي دبل رول اللي هو لاني مسؤولة التسويق في احمد صديقي واولاده و من المؤسسين لهذا المعرض اللي هو دبي واتش ويك فانظر لكل الاشياء مع بعض فمسؤوليتنا كبيرة في هالموضوع ما في صعوبات بس دائما لما يكون عندك براند كثيرة تحاولين تجمعينهم كلهم في مكان واحد في تاريخ محدد شوي يكون صعب بس بدينا من بدينا يعني من على طول بعد السنة اللي طافت فكان الموضوع الحمد لله سهل يعني نحن نبغى نشجع الكل إنه يحضر المعرض سواء في مركز دبي المالي أو في دبي مول اللي راح يظل في دبي مول لتاريخ 29 وفي مركز دبي المالي لتاريخ 19 نوفمبر عندنا فئتين في مركز دبي المالي هي أكثر للكولكترز واللي واللي ذويقة الساعات اللي أوردي متعمقين في هذا العالم واللي في دبي مول أكثر للعامة عشان يشوفون فن وحرفة عالم الساعات Prix d'horlogerie de Genève, GPHG, is a non-profit foundation and um, his mission is to promote the Swiss watchmaking uh, art uh, all over, over the world. It's a competition uh, with uh, a prize-giving ceremony and this year we are going uh, to, we are presenting here in the Dubai Watch Week the 15 uh, winning watches because the ceremony was held just uh, last week. Last year we were uh, already in Dubai with the 72 preselected watches because it was just before the ceremony. Actually, we organize a road show each year with all the 72 preselected watches. We go to four or five different capitals in the world and uh, we have an exhibition of the winning watches after the ceremony each year as well. So we choose to be in different uh, continents, like we were in Seoul, we were in Rome, and Dubai is very important, of course, because it's all the Middle East, and this event is so important for the, all the watch uh, industry because it's about education, it's about culture, and it's really what we try to do with the foundation is to show all the creativity of the, the industry in a more in kind of a cultural and educational way. It's not commercial at all what we do. There is still few ladies in this watchmaking world. Um, that's a shame. Uh, we try to improve that by having more ladies in the jury. This year we had something like six ladies for 26 members of the jury. So it's still not so many, but we're going to have many more uh, next year. Actually, we, were, we have a jury, an international jury, and the jury uh, is selecting uh, the watches. There is two rounds of voting, one in summer and another one just before the ceremony to choose the winners. Well, for the Dubai Watch Week, we brought uh, some exceptional pieces from our collection. So you can't actually put a price on them because, you know, they're pieces that are not sellable. They come from our collection, so they're actually priceless. So we have, for example, uh, a pocket watch that dates back to 1895. 
which has a chronometer uh, minute repeater and a perpetual calendar. We brought also with us uh, one of the original Reverso from 1931, which uh, shows that the design actually stayed true to what it was in 1931 through the 80 years of existence or 85 years. And uh, we also brought uh, you know, an original geophysique from 1958. So we have a number of historical pieces here, but these are probably my three favorite ones. Well, the Dubai Watch Week will for sure attract uh, watch connoisseurs and watch lovers. So we are focusing on the, these people, of course. But also, I think, because it's located in the Dubai International Financial Center, which hosts a lot of uh, fine dining restaurants, a lot of art galleries, I think the Dubai Watch Week will also attract uh, a, a crowd of, uh, I would say, amateur of fine things, you know, or I would categorize them as uh, amateur éclairés. So they're not necessarily watch lovers, but they like fine things. Uh, they, they appreciate fine lifestyle. And for sure, they could, you know, discover the watch universe, discover us through the Dubai Watch Week. Well, I would say collectors are not necessarily looking for, for valuable, as in, uh, in terms of money. I think collectors look for exceptional timepieces. So a timepiece can be exceptional because of its watchmaking content, because of the complication it has. A uh, timepiece can be exceptional because of its design. Take the Reverso, for example. Everybody agrees that the, this Art Deco design is unique in itself. Uh, and for sure, Reverso is considered as an iconic piece. Of course, a collector would also be very sensible to uniqueness. So limited editions, for co of course, are choices you know, of, of collectors. I think overall, you know, a collector also looks as, uh, at protecting his investment. So he's also looking for a watch which value will, uh, will, will at least stay over the years or even increase. At Gégère Le Coutre, of course, we, we take great care of the ladies. So since 1931, the Reverso you know, has a feminine line and, uh, and is a very great success among, uh, among the ladies. And we also have the Rendezvous line, which is uh, dedicated to ladies with the watches that not only show time with our minutes and seconds, but also include complications such as minute repeater, uh, tourbillon, and of course, fine gem setting.